हाँ जी हाँ जी सर वेलकम टू मुक्स मॉड्यूल ऑन ग्राफिक्स एंड एनिमेशन डेवलपमेंट एज वी हैव सीन इन द अर्लियर वीडियो सेशन सम ऑफ द टूल्स हाँ जी ओके वेलकम टू मूक्स मॉड्यूल ऑन ग्राफिक्स एंड एनिमेशन डेवलपमेंट इन द अर्लियर वीडियो सेशन वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द सिलेक्शन टूल्स फॉर डूइंग सिलेक्शन इन गेम वी इन दिस सेशन वी विल सी हाउ दिस ऑल सिलेक्शन टूल कैन बी प्रैक्टिकली यूज सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द डेमो सेशन ऑफ ऑल दोज टूल्स the first tool that we want to practice here is fuzzy select tool and the rest of the tools were select by color intelligent scissor select tool color picker tool and foreground select tool so first of all just open gimp software and go to windows as we are seeing that currently toolbox is not open so you can again open from the dockable dialogs and uh, if some other part is needed like layers you can open that also for your help now open any image that is available with you so i have some images with me on which we are going to practice this tools so you can have a review of the images available on which image you feel that the tools will be effective so let's open this image so you can see that a good cr contrast is available and we can work with the first tool that we have covered in the video session that is fuzzy select tool so you can see here that fuzzy select tool is for selecting a contiguous contiguous region on the basis of color so all the pixels that are visible on the currently opened vi window are of white pixel color and if you are going to click on some other area accordingly you can pick the selection so the first task is to click on the fuzzy select tool it is quite similar to magic wand tool so let me click anywhere on the image so you can see that it is showing you a selection and it's good if i want to work on the background so let's see what it will do i have clicked on the paint bucket tool let me change some background color here so i have set the foreground color to some other color after doing this selection i have clicked on the bucket fill color so you can see that how easily i have modified the background of this image so in this manner the first tool that is fuzzy selection tool is very helpful when you are having all the contiguous pixels of the similar color let me demonstrate this by clicking on some other area let me click on this uh, blue ring before that you need to deselect the currently selected area now there is no ss selection currently available again i am going to make use of fuzzy select tool and we are going to click on blue area so you can see that now some of the pixels are selected and some are not selected you can also increase the threshold limit from the tools option it is available next to these tools list at the bottom all the options related to fuzzy select tool are available at the bottom and from here i have moved the slider that is available with threshold so if you do it again so see it has taken all the pixels that are of the same color 
but when the threshold was less some of the pixels were left so i can uh, try practicing this on different colors available here accordingly it will pick the colors so this is one important benefit of fuzzy select tool and uh, let me show you how it works when the image is not having such kind of strong contrast or contiguous pixels of the same type so we can open some another pic, uh, file also let's see this one so it is hide it below this image let me maximize it so you can see that the background pixels are related to sky and they are having variation so the fuzzy select tool will not work in the same manner as in the earlier case so again use this tool fuzzy select click somewhere so you can see that all the pixel that is it has found similar to the initially selected pixel will be selected so either you increase the threshold limit and try clicking again or you move the tool towards the direction either right or downward to increase the selection so when you are dragging towards the right direction it is increasing the selection you can try practicing or you can increase or decrease the threshold limit both ways are okay if you want to practice along with the fuzzy select tool this is on one click but you can keep on increasing the selection so it all depends on area where you are dragging and the area which you are currently selecting so the easy way is to set the threshold limit so that all the pixels within this range will be selected so it's very simple to use so you will have to just take care of what kind of image you are picking so as the sky is not having all the pixels of similar colors so its working will be like this so what i can do currently the mode is current selection i can move on to add to the current selection let's see how it will different so it will different to say extent that it will keep on adding the selection so let me just add this also this area is not selected i am clicking here also one pixel is not selected here so you can see the result it is continuously adding to the selection so this is also a good way to expand the selection the initial selection was having some less number of pixels selected but now you can see that i kept on adding the pixels by using the another selection mode that is add to selection so in this manner it this tool works basically with the threshold limit so let's see some other tools also that we have covered in the session the next is select by color so let's say i am clicking on this tool and i am again clicking somewhere on the image so accordingly it will pick the different pixel colors it selects regions with similar colors the approach is very simple if you want to move on to a selection of similar pixels as in this image the sky pixels of same colors are randomly distributed so the selection is of this kind so if we will again try to do it on the earlier image the logo in this again you will see that selection by color is differing and it is also taking care of threshold so quite similar to the earlier tool but choice of selection is again select by color so the color that you are picking accordingly it will select the pixels out of the image so there are as such no changes in the options feather edges is available with earlier tools also select transparent areas as you can see here that uh, none of the pixels are transparent so it's of no use for us for applying this particular option you can also uncheck the option select transparent areas but if you are having some area in the active layer as transparent area then you can click on select transparent areas 
and as in this particular case i am having only a single layer so in case i am having more than one layers then i can click on sample merged so in that case it will take all the active layers so let's move on to some other image in which we can see the effect of other tools minimize this one and open this bird image so after fuzzy select and after select by color another tool we have covered is color picker color picker is also very simple if i am clicking here on this copper color copper brown color so you can see that foreground color is set to this if i am moving to the beak area the color set for foreground is orange and if you are clicking somewhere on this tail part the color will be set accordingly so color picker tool is very similar and it is available in most of the image editing tools and its features and objective is also similar to that and you can see here in the tools option set background color if my objective is to set let's say background color so you can see here foreground and background color is set if you feel that foreground and background is appropriately set then it's fine and if you want to move on to some other color choice you can first pick this radio button let's say again set foreground color and uh, i'm going to pick this orange so it will set the color currently selected pixel color so the fourth tool that we are going to apply here is caesar select tool so as you can see that in this particular image the area which is of bird and the background pixels are having some kind of similarity so if you want to just practice you can practice on this also but you can also look for some another good image where you can apply the tool so most of the background pixels are quite uh, similar to black color pixel so let us try this uh, intelligent caesar select tool here and uh, i am starting from one point on the boundary of the floor so you can see that one control node is added it's they are all circular in shape and i am slowly moving around the boundary that i want to pick out of this currently opened image how beautifully it is uh, keep on adding control nodes and it is very simple also so if you want to just uh, pick this boundary roughly you can end up the selection like this so you can see this icon is changing its shape one plus sign is uh, visible on the top of this icon mouse pointer just uh, concentrate on the mouse pointer it is having some plus icon when i am focusing on the inside area of the selection and if i am on the edge it will change its shape i am closing it it is showing some different icon so on the top of caesar some small icon is changing it is having three options on the boundary inside the boundary and outside the boundary so this icon will change its shape accordingly depending upon the mouse pointer so as i said once you have done with this next point is can i edit the same so these are the anchor points if i have wrongly done the selection i can move these anchor points or the control nodes if i feel that here i need to add one more point i can do it very easily and i can change the shape of the flower so you can see that how we are keep on modifying the area selected and at the end of this you need to just click inside the currently drawn area 
so after this it's your choice what you want to perform with this selection if you want to fill this with uh, some color let's say foreground color is orange only let me change it first let it be blue okay i am saying fill whole selection i am clicking once inside it and i can do whatsoever i want to perform further so in this manner this particular tool that is intelligent caesar select tool will be helpful for you let me do control z so again you can practice this on some another image and see the difference how it was working perfectly in this and not working let's say let me pick this image the tool again is same i am trying to pick the pixels around the bird i am trying to just uh, apply all the options and you can see that in this we are not having strong contrast or the sharp edges so pixels around the edges are merging with the background pixels so it's not good to apply here but still you can practice it if you want to do and when you will click inside the selection the area will be finally selected so let us move on to the last tool do control shift a in order to deselect the currently drawn selection and the last one was foreground select till now we have seen how fuzzy select works how select by color works how intelligent caesar select works and color picker so the last one is foreground select tool first of all click on it in order to activate it there is as such no shortcut available for this if you want to set you can set it through the edit preferences so you can notice here the shape of the icon is similar to lasso tool right now i will start from the tail part and i will keep on drawing the curve around the boundary of the bird this tool is little bit tricky so you just try to note uh, how the steps are to be done so i have reached to the end of the selection i will click on the starting control node so you can see that most of the area except the bird area that i have selected is converted into dark blue color mask so next step is i will make change of foreground color let it be green because the background mask color is blue and uh, paint brush color is also going to be same as in the earlier case so i have intentionally changed it to another color otherwise it will show it in the uh, same color blue color so let me try to cover some pixels randomly out of this bird body which i have just selected so i will think of moving over the area which i want to pick so randomly i have moved on so once you have done this it will just highlight those pixels which are all of the similar colors as the pixels under this line so if you see that some of the pixels are left again draw this kind line all the pixels below this will be added the selection is going on finer so you can see that let's say if you have done with our requirement now at the end you need to press on enter key so in this manner what we have done we have extracted some part of the foreground pixels and it is one way of doing but uh, as till now we have covered lot many selection tools so you are not bound to go by foreground select tool if you feel that this tool is helpful in selecting the foreground pixels more effectively then you can pick the foreground select tool otherwise we have also covered the lasso tool and some other selection tool in the earlier sessions and these tools all are good so it all depends upon nature and characteristics of the 
image pixels and accordingly you can execute your task for further editing. So I hope you are able to understand all the five selection tools covered in the earlier video session and you can practice it on different kind of images. In the similar manner you can also try to download some of the images like I have saved some of the images. All are of different kinds. Some are having some continuously varying background. Some are having all the pixels of the same background color. Some are having strong contrast. Some are having merging kind of edges pixels. So it all depends what kind of selection you want to do and which selection tool is fit for this selection. So with this the session is uh, complete and uh, I hope you will be able to practice the tools for selection according to the requirement. Thank you.